Yeah, it was scary. That's why I was laughing a lot. I just tend to laugh when I'm a bit scared. But you know what? I'd love to go back, have a few more lessons, and you know, maybe do a few jumps because there's a lot packed in there. One day. Mm. That's something. Again, you said you're slightly frightened here. Well, we're yep. staying on the scary theme now because I'm going to show you how to frighten yourself in the mirror by making one of these masks for Halloween. Yes, I'm going to make that green-looking one simply because we've got the Wicked Witch on today, and I thought it'd be a quite a good thing. What happened to you two? You changed quickly. Where did Andy and Zoe go? Anyway, listen, take socks. Be careful, because you're scared of the masks. There you go, and you go. You're, you're scary, yeah, and you? You're scary enough as it is. Thank you, and bye. Yes, and I'll show you exactly. Ooh, so if you win our fabulous competition, you could be mingling with the monsters. But at first, live in the studio and sporting their very own creations, inspired by Doctor Who, it's the monsters. Ooh, first up is Davros. Davros is the creator of the Daleks and first hit our screens in 1975. He wanted to create a mask race that had no emotion at all. His experiments with genetic mutation created one of Doctor Who's most favourite enemies, the Daleks. And as you can see here, being half Dalek himself in a pretty pink. It's fair to say he's a bit of a trend set, this dude. <laughs> now, the Daleks, of course, have been one of the Doctor's scariest enemies since the series began. Despite their appearance, they're not actually robots. They each have a slimy pink creature lurking inside them, and they're actually powerless without the robotic outer shell. Now, this fella, woo, scary, oh. this fella is actually modelled on the traditional Dalek, rather than the ones that you'll see in the current series. Uh, next up is Tetra. The creatures were made made their first appearances with Sylvester McCoy. They were they were the first monsters with the seventh Doctor who had who had to contend with and who had to contend with and battled over four episodes altogether. Not a pretty sight if you ask me. They're quite ugly if you see. But they do have a vicious sting in their tongue, which can basically leave you unconscious, paralyze you, or even make you die. Now there is something very fishy about our next monster. Yep, the Zygons, they lived for centuries beneath the Loch Ness and controlled their cyborg monster above. Now, with suckers all over them, they can actually morph themselves into their victim, which means they can actually morph themselves into humans. But first, they'll have to catch us, Andy. Definitely, <laughs> and who would forget the clockwork droids from the last series, very fashionable back in the 18th century, in 18th century Paris, with plenty of evil plots under their sleeve. These monsters, or in fact androids, came from the 51st century. They followed Madame Pampadour through her childhood in a plot to steal her brain and power their ships of the future. Ooh, and finally, Ooh. there's the Zikarax. Yep, this evil face wanted to take over the Earth and enslave all of its people. They were actually the first monsters that David Tennant had to face defending planet Earth. Now, half-bone and hot-tempered, they actually made a festive appearance in the Christmas episode last year. Although, if you ask me, I don't think he'll be handing out any yeah, Christmas presents. De definitely not, definitely not. What a handsome bunch of monsters. And can I thank Hyde Fundraisers, who have basically made all these costumes as well. If you want the chance to battle a Doctor Who monster, log on to the competition. Yes, download one of the scripts from the website, and then choose the scene that you'd like to act out, film it, and then send it in. I can honestly say I've never been more frightened in all my life. It's unbelievable that was. Ooh. Make sure you don't miss it. Yep. Uh, plus, make sure you don't uh, make sure you get your entries in for our Doctor Who competition. We've had thousands already, but you could still have time to send them in. Very much so. Make sure it's no more than one minute, and you record it on your mobile phone, on webcam, or just a regular camera. And if you look on the website, you can find out the address you need to send it to, as well as all the great prizes you can win. Mm. Yes, good awesome. luck with that. Now, with all these monsters and witches about, we are certainly all set what? for a Halloween. But make sure you do tune in tomorrow. What's going on? Ah, what's going on? Oh. oh my goodness! Get up! What are you doing? Hey. 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 Hey.